What's up, everyone? Uh, this one is about uh, being a vegetarian. Uh, so, I don't know if you saw my podcast on having diabetes, but um, when I got diabetes, I wanted, I needed to change my diet. I needed to change my lifestyle. Um, <clears throat> But being a vegetarian was kind of a, a, a separate decision. Uh, it was kind of a separate decision uh, rather than just from, from having diabetes. I wanted to stop eating meat and I wanted to stop, uh, you know, contributing to the slaughtering of animals um, because I'm, I'm not for all that. I don't want to contribute to that stuff. Even if it's like impossible for the world to stop eating meat. Um, I feel, I feel like it's a, it's a movement going on where there's vegan and there's, there's plant-based foods being, being made now. So, um, definitely. Um, I, I remember back in 2015, I came up with, uh, with an idea, with an invention to make, uh, make uh, man-made meat from stem cells um, and growth hormones uh, to produce meat and that was not made from animals and to have like experiments done on that type of meat and you can cook that meat and eat that. If you really want to eat meat, you don't have to fucking kill an animal. You can just grow this synthetic meat off of stem cells. I don't know if they're doing that or not, but um, it's an idea, but uh, also, so I think it was uh, March 2020, so I've been vegetarian for two years now, and um, it's been great. I've lost a lot of weight. I feel a hell of a lot better. I'm healthy as hell, and I eat what I want, and there's things that I don't want to eat anymore because they taste like shit. Like, if I eat meat... Tastes like shit. If I eat sugar, it tastes like shit. It makes me feel like shit. Um, so there's never been like a craving for eating meat or having your sugar. I'm like, I'm good. Like if I want to have sugar, I can eat chocolate. I can eat dark chocolate. I can eat fruit. Um, and it, everything's in moderation with diabetes. So, but I don't really eat sugar like that. I don't eat meat, meat or sugar. I don't drink milk. I don't really drink milk. Um, if I have milk, it's in my coffee once once in a while, every blue moon, if I go get it at a coffee shop, but I don't drink it at home. Um, I'll do almond milk or coconut milk. Yeah, it's awesome, man. It's, it's lovely, dude. Everything is, is good on this vegetarian lifestyle. I don't need to worry about an innocent chicken or a, a cow, you know, getting slaughtered. You just eat, you know, shit them out and... Um, I feel good about that. I feel good. And I would like to do more uh, awareness for vegetarian, vegan, plant-based foods. And I would love to come up with my own plant-based foods. Actually, I do have plant-based foods. Check out the uh, cheat meats. I came up with cheat meats. It's a, check out the Lanya cheat meats cookbook. I come up with all these different recipes for things that taste like different meats. or just a whole new, whole new, whole new, uh, whole new, um, Flavors, whole new recipes that are new flavors, new tastes. Check it out, cheat meats. You'll love it. I got a video. Check out my uh, John B. Cooking with John B. Check out the cheat meats special. Go to my playlist and look for uh, cheat meats. And uh, you'll see, man, it's really good. <sighs> Anyways, um, so I became a vegetarian in March 2020, and um, I literally just gave up. I said, you know, I, I, I'm just not going to eat meat anymore. It's going to help my diabetes, and um, I feel good about it. And I've just, I've just gone hardcore with it and just stuck, stuck with it. There's never been any, any withdrawals, any, any fiending for me. It's literally just, let's go for it. So, but the things I do still eat that are that tastes like meat, tastes like meat, are uh, like impossible meat, chicken nuggets, that stuff still tastes good, but I don't eat it a lot. Um, just when I'm coming up with certain recipes that I want to, um, you know, 
imitate uh, the flavor or just have the flavor in there, not imitate the imitate the flavor. I come up with my own flavors. But like it's just been so helpful and fulfilling to create all these recipes and think of things that haven't been made yet. Or to make things that no one makes that are vegetarian. And uh, it's, it's really cool, man. I really enjoy it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I got my cooking show and um, everything's vegetarian on there. I used to make cooking shows with meat, but... Um, I, I, I deleted those ever since I've gone full-fledged vegetarian. Um, so yeah, it's great. Uh, the only thing is my family, they're all meat eaters. My mom's part vegetarian. She still eats hot dogs and chickens. Not, she doesn't eat chicken anymore, but she eats fish and hot dogs every now and then. And for summertime cookouts, she likes eating hot dogs. And she'll eat fish every now and then. But um, um, I understand that you can't be completely, you know, vegetarian when there's things like leather and stuff in your cars and some of the medications they do for experimenting on animals. It's, that's not completely vegetarian, but as far as the diet goes, like, as less harm as possible. That's what I believe in, you know, like, if, if any harm, no harm. Now, I'm not trying to, you know, inf like, you know, con contribute to the slaughtering of animals. Um... But, uh, yeah, like, it's fine. Like, my, my family, they enjoy cooking vegetarian food and eating vegetarian food. Like, vegetarian pizza. Like, I love vegetarian pizza. They love vegetarian pizza. Uh, they don't really cook much of it, but, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll cook it every once in a while for me. Uh, if we have, like, a family dinner and stuff like that, it'd be cool. But it hasn't been much of a, uh, much of an issue. I just, uh... I don't, I don't get to eat what everyone else is eating at a cookout or something, but I, I don't even really go to cookouts like that. But for family cookouts and stuff, like, I'll just, I come up with my own recipes, man. I could eat, like, uh, pulled um, jackfruit pork, you know, pulled pulled jackfruit barbecue sandwiches, or I, I, got, I, got, I got recipes, man. I got, like, eight cookbooks that are all vegetarian, man, that, have, that are loaded with, with unique recipes. And I'll just take like an idea and I'll like take take ideas and put them together and create create my own recipes, man. You should check it out. Check out the cooking shows. Cooking with John B, man. Um, it's fun doing it, man. I like doing that shit. Um, but uh, yeah, like my health is improved. My my diet's definitely stable. My my weight is is back to normal, even better normal, and. I'm getting I'm getting all the nutrients and vitamins and, and protein and um, I'm just eating food that's meant to be eaten you know like that's what vegetables and fruits are here for to be to be consumed not not just animals and and stuff like that you know um, apples they grow on trees and they're meant to be eaten just like potatoes and cucumbers and stuff and and salad and stuff you just put it together um, it gives you energy man. It's really nice. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys check out the cookbooks, check out the cooking videos, and um, if you have any questions about becoming a vegetarian or if you need any advice on it, being a vegetarian, then um, definitely hit me up. I would love to answer your questions. Just leave a comment below or email me or something. Um, Definitely, definitely check into it. Just try eating vegetarian every once in a while. And uh, see how you feel. Appreciate it.